And welcome to Racing, Pacing, Chasing. It is time for the pacing segment, season two, episode 18. I'm Aaron Bain, joined by Rocky Butterworth. Rocky, where are we tonight, mate? This is a beautiful setup here, mate. Jama's Tell me about kitchen. it. Jama's Kitchen. Jama's Kitchen. It used to be kitchen. a very, very ordinary old pub called the Park View, I reckon, years ago. A few stories and to tell from the park. There view. is a few stories to tell from the park view, but this is just fantastic. Beautiful, what isn't it? Done here. I, so. I actually thought you, you know, you were going to record the show and you're taking us out for dinner. You're actually putting yeah. us on recording first because you've got to. You get, you're leaving us early. Got to go. You've got to so sort out some. You, you sorted the tab, haven't you? You put it. You put your card. Put the tab down. There's twenty four dollars there. All right, that's sweet. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit. Have a go at it all. Yeah. All right. And now, a bit of a controversial show last week, but there's been what? much. Very well talked about, you could say. Um, we, uh, I saw it, it sort of continued on. I was on uh, 1197 on Saturday morning yep. talking about very similar. It's good to see people out there watching the show and, and certainly engaging. But um, good to see you got George coming on a bit later as well. Uh, no, he's busy. Busy? Yeah, okay. he's got another commitment. So okay. Can't come on tonight? No, he can't come on tonight. Well, I'm going to go one better next week. I want to assemble a panel next week. Yes. There'll be no notes required next next night, next Wednesday night we go to recording. So I save a day's work. Save a day's work. Don't need to do any notes. We're going to assemble a panel that will have to be seen to be relieved to talk all things racing. Give us a clue. Ex-board member? Prominent owner? Whoa. He watches the show. He's a big I fan. Might, I might know that one. On the way in tonight, I rang him. I said, are you a starter? He said, I'm confirmed. Put me out of gate one. Oh, that's good. Leading driver. Serious? That building. I'm waiting on a call back from a breeder. There's a panel next week assembling. Mm-hmm. That I'm looking forward and to. And where are we doing this? But in Gawler. In Gawler. Now, if we get too many on the panel, we might just have to change locations, but <laughs> we'll put location to confirm. Whether it be at the Prince Albert Hotel Gawler, one of our major sponsors, yep. great to have them back. I tell you, the restrictions easing, it's good for them to be back, yeah. as well as Choice Hotels. Um, we, we thank them both, but uh, we might even be at the uh, Gawler and Brossett Jockey Club next week. We'll just see, because yep. Shane Collins is going to come on the racing segment. Big news there. and well, um, he's, Friday's the official launch of the pool yep. for both uh, Harness and... Or, pacing horses and, and racing, so that's very exciting, and Shane wants to come on board and share that news with Fantastic. Week, so we may all be there, but Rock, I'm telling you, I'm really looking forward to that panel next well, week. Well, yeah. the, the serious, uh, seriousness of it for me is that we're here to do these things, yeah. you know, we, we don't want to be so, totally controversial, but we want to be honest and we want to give the facts as we see them to the harness racing um, public. And if it's good or bad, that's unfortunately that's how I don't want to cut you off by any means, and I don't think we're in for a minute. Don't yet, and what we're talking about last week is the state of affairs in the start in, yep. in South Australia. Um, horse population numbers, and we'll get to them a little bit later, yep. right? Because we've got to get on with some other racing. Yep. Horse population, it's the national rating system we discussed, it, the prize money. I went on radio. I am not one, I'm not going to sit here and be negative at any situation, right? No, I'm, I here. Know that. I'm here to give, like anyone, and that's what next week's about. We want to. We, the, it's a different show next week. We just want to give our views, or everyone give their views on the panel, of how racing can be improved in this state, yep. in this sport that we love. Let's Fantastic. get into it, right? We've got right, a bit to cover. It's yeah. time for some news. And uh, first up, let's go uh, abroad to New Zealand. Yep. Our, uh, good to see them back racing. But what about the yeah, old Marvel, fantastic. Ricky May? Back this week. Mate, I saw that yesterday, and it was January the 2nd yeah. that he died in the Sulky. Yeah. When he was leading on AG's, Don, what he loved to do. <laughs> yeah, AG's white socks, yeah. and five months later, he's been told by the docs, "Just get on with your life, mate, and get back driving." And he starts Friday night. It's, it's an it unbelievable story. And it, it fantastic. Will, do you reckon he'd be nervous? Um, he said he's very, very nervous. I mean, the man was dead for ten minutes. They reckon yeah. at the track, and here he is. What a now story to be if he come out and won. Oh, mate. It's good to see him back. What he loves doing, and, and no yeah. doubt we might put a. Hopefully, if he wins, we might be able to put it on the uh, on the show next week. Too right, we'll... Anyway, Queensland racing. While we're uh, on the topic of uh, yep. racing, and it'll no doubt come up in our going, going, gone later on. But yep. uh, they are introducing some claiming races up there. You know, yeah. more, and more of them. And it was uh, a good hunting ground for Rob Caruso and. Yeah. These sorts of trainers in Adelaide, so I guess they'll probably start venturing back up there to find a it's couple a, of Queensland's going from strength horses. to strength. They were probably yeah. dead and buried five, ten years, you know, five to yeah. ten years ago, but they are really, um, you know, going from strength to strength. And you know, going, going, gone. We'll talk about that. We've got, we got, we spoke about it. We've got sort of five pencils in to go there in early August. Really yep. looking forward to that after the winter carnival has finished and wrapped up. 
We must thank our sponsors of these segments, the Gawler Harness Racing Club and Kapana Harness Racing Club. We'll go to a short break as we acknowledge them this week and we'll be back with news, brews and barbecues. Righto, right, time for news, brews and barbecues. Yes, we'll start off with some news, local news you could say, just yep. abroad in, in Victoria with um, my bit old lady. Was she impressive? Cool. Three wide the trip. 156. <laughs> I, text, I text Jake and full credit, Jake and his team of owners, Jamie Dernberger smith and, yeah. uh, and uh, Tone, he's in on it as well. So uh, full credit to him, he's doing a great job in Victoria. It's really clicked with Emma Stewart. I, tell, yeah. I, I noticed your comment on Twitter the other, uh, last night as well where it said, uh, best trainers in the world, don't buy one off them when they're finished. And, <laughs> and, and Jamie actually screenshot and sent to Jake and I and said, you know, and Jake said, well, he's right. <laughs> you know, they, they, they do a magnificent job, Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin. And, yeah. Um, you know, the, the turnaround of this horse and Jake, we, we sent him a text and he, his first response was, wow, yeah. what was I doing with it? And why haven't we got more there? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, the horse is only as big as our producer, Mosquito. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she is flying. Yeah. yeah, it's great to see him, yeah. Jake said the first time to us, you know, what the hell am I doing? Well, he's probably doing nothing wrong. No, no, I don't in, think. In, in his defence. Two things, like you know, full credit to him and Jamie for A, picking the horse. Yeah. B, it hasn't clicked in Adelaide with Jake, and he's admitted that. And C, he sent it to Emma, give it its best chance possible to get a return for the owners. That's what it's about. I, I think, you know, Jake, you've done the right thing by the horse. You couldn't get it to five. Hey, if it did, he would have looked like a genius here and, you know, won a few races yeah. and then moved on. But the horse is going, you know, tremendous. And uh, the. Um, the commentator said, "You know, to sit. It's we know it's fast, but it's got to be str- tough tonight. Three wide the trip, and it was tough. Mm, it went away, careered away from it. Mm. It was winning with ease on the line. Anyway, twelve you know, grand since mid May, mate. Yeah, f- so. twelve grand a month. Local news. Yep, our lava test um, continues on her winning ways. Bit of a, a sore point to us, but all, the, all, all full credit to the owners. We um, we sold as a broodmare, and she couldn't get in foal. She had twins actually." Toby Ryan, the vet, okay. pop, pop one as they do when they're yeah. only young and, and yeah. unfortunately lost both. But um, she, she, they decided to put her back into work and she's flying. She is going well. Um, four wins out of her last seven, every one of them along the sprint lane. We, we would have we'd liked to draw one or two with her for a while, wouldn't we? We used to get double ones, yeah. generally, at yeah. 11. No, nah, it's all right, <laughs> but uh, no, full credit to them. No. Anyway, time for a brew. Yep. Now. Did a bit of research here this week, Rob. I did on this one. It's Fun a, fact, dude. It's fascinating, mate, yeah. this horse. You want to... No, so nerve wracking. We're talking about nerve wracking. Actually, I'll let, I'll let you talk about it because you've, you've got the stats. You've done the research. I don't want to steal your thunder. But <laughs> this, this horse actually, um, you know, heading over to Victoria. It is going over? Yeah. That's fantastic. I, I followed the horse from the time it came in, mate, because you'd see it at the trials and it trot quickly. And then just no idea how to settle down once it galloped. They put up with that for ten races what about in the a row. You got? It's been beaten ten, the of the total. ten races in a row to say to the owners, "I think I can get this to win a race." It was beaten one thousand nine hundred and eighty-four <laughs> meters in its first ten starts, and now it's won three in a row. Unbelievable! It's, um... They didn't get on the grog at it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jill Jill's place last week. Yeah. Then they got they don't know how to get on. Oh, fair dinkum. It, it's a, it's a great story. And I was talking to Jill on the way down as well, just about racing here, and you know, Jill watches the show and also um, heard the comments on uh, eleven ninety seven. And yeah, you know, it's um, the way it brought up the hat trick. We'll watch the replay here, but yeah. um, it was just trotting very strong on the line, nerve wracking. Yeah. It is um, you know it is on the way to Melbourne for the uh, okay. bonuses and you now. Fantastic. Full credit to Jill and the team out there, Katie. They've uh, yeah. certainly got this horse trotting very well. Let's take a look at the replay here. Answers turning, nerve wracking, clear. 150 to go. Boozer Beauty's trying to run on, sticking on Kai Valley Kid, then glad all over. But nerve wracking is going to bring up the hat trick in the best way possible. Draws clear, comfortable win, three in a row. Nerve wracking first. Kai Time for a barbecue, and we love the barbecue rock. But this yep. week you've gone the same one as last week. Yep. Come up with some new material, please. Oh, hang on. Maybe the advertiser should. <laughs> Oh, fair dinkum. They don't watch, obviously. We've got a good good backing now, and obviously it doesn't include the journos at the advertise. Well, they should start watching um, because we had a bit of a bake last week that they use the same tips as our own Lockie Stace from Steve Davidson, who lives over in Melbourne. 
two days later, what do you reckon happens, mate? Same one. Same one. So Lockie Stace has got his seven races there. And he picked four, so good on Lockie, but you know that Stevie Wonder could have picked those, so <laughs> don't get too carried away with yourself, Lockie. And then Steve Davidson's uh, tips are exactly the same. And I'll say it again, if they don't want to treat harness racing with any respect at all, ring someone who will give you a decent tip and maybe you might pick the car between Lockie and that expert, but stop treating us like idiots. Barbecue, that's the second week in a row. Don't make yep. it a third. I'll... Anyway, uh, time now to find you the winners, unlike the advertiser. Yeah. Time now for three white no cover. Thanks to Steve Mackin and his team, MJ Insurance Brokers. And tell you what, this horse, you just cannot leave it out of your tips. And it hasn't won yet. It needs to delete your rock. It's time you stood up, mate. You keep putting it in week in, week out. Mate. I think you just copy and paste your notes. Tell me why we leave it in. We leave it in because it's a horse that does rely on a little bit of luck early, needs to get its cover, and it's run into the up and coming horse of the state we described on two of the last three occasions. It's not good enough right now to be Regal Scribe. Saturday night, it didn't want to be in the depth and pulled hard for probably 400 metres, finally got cover and then ended up last. And it's run home in, what have they done? 50, 57, 57 five. 5 then. Don't Pretty tell me then. Yeah, we'll take a little replay here. Yeah. As we do, I'll tell you what, I'd love it on our new plan. Buy it for Queensland. It'd go all right Ooh, in the queue host. But uh, probably not, not for sale. Goes go all right. Don't tell William. Our three-word no cover this week. Let's take a little replay. With its head in front. Don't tell Alice not done with here. Don't tell William deep out. No run there for double dip of heaven. Regal scribe with its head in front. Don't tell Alice trying to come back. Wider out. Don't tell William. Regal scribe. We said he's a winner. He is a winner. Regal scribe six in a row. Does it again. Second and third close. Don't tell All right. Alice and don't right. Time for the Leonard Ride. And it's yes, my mate. turn this week. You bailed last week with uh, your $10 investment. I did. Narrowly, but. I just thought it was disappointing. A... Yeah, it was run fourth, and I didn't get beaten far, but I really did think it was the best bet of the month. Yeah, I, I, but I reckon, I reckon we stay on when it's back yeah, up. Yeah, Jacko. So it's my turn to spend $10 this yes, week. Yes, mate. I reckon I'll put my money where my mouth is, mate. All right. What have you got? Let's go West Star Sam, all right? One out of our own, our own uh, farm. All right, all right, if you can. $10 Saturday well, That's terrific. Race but five, number four. I'm West wondering Star how Sam. I had to wait till Wednesday night to find out it was a new hope. Except... Right. <laughs> it's accepted. Oh, it I um, I thought we'd better change the luck. Let's go for one of our own. Probably probably going to yeah. be hard to beat Bella Sophia drawing no, sides, well. but uh, I'll come put ten dollars on the line. We're still there. Right, out time for Leroy the Lizard and uh, Rock. You copped a bit of flack over this one last week. Oh, I did, and he came all the way down. Yeah. Sat in the studio expecting to come on. We didn't let him on. You wouldn't let him on. He I stayed called, at your place. I called him over, and you said not on my watch. So anyway, he's tipped us into a horse at. 151 bucks you could have got, and 17 bucks a place. You copped a fair bit of flack, didn't you? Well, I did cop some flack, and I, you know, there's a couple of blokes around town that we won't say we would. No. Chris Nielsen. Hey, I, I just think it's great they're watching the show. That's the best yeah. part. So, absolutely. Thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, I, I think Chris Hartley wasn't that enamoured with my uh, selection. I, 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 I told you you were a joke. You told me I was a joke. Yeah. It was a winning hope at the top of the straight, so if you took 151 bucks, you got your money's worth. Did you get any return? Uh, I'm getting to that. Oh. I took it at 17 bucks a place, and I was a place getter until the last 14 metres. Sounds like the story of your love life. I reckon the driver got a little bit puffed out, and he just stopped driving. Stopped driving a little bit and cost me a few. Cut bucks. To the chase. What do you got this week? So we'll cut to the chase this week. I, I just thought I'm, I'm going to back. Um, Dap Dan again, mate. But this week I'm going to go with Leroy. He said this will trot all the way in the two-year-old Parker Classic. Right? Well, yep. Ten no spur. Ten no spur. He said will trot all the way. Don't just back it straight out. Back the margin. Thirty-five plus if you can get on. Ten no spur. Leroy, he's confident. He's confident. I reckon you've lost it. Trot all the way for a two-year-old trot. If it does that, it'll be winning. It could gallop forward to gallop once and still be a winning chance. But uh, we'll stick with Leroy. <coughs> anyway, thanks to Sports Centre who bring us uh, Leroy the Lizard yep. each week. It's, um, I'm going to introduce a new segment this week, Rob. Just this week? Just oh, just No, this week. why don't we just keep it going? Why don't we get invite the all right. viewers in to... Going, going, going. Yeah. You can, you can explain your So going, going, segment. going. I, I want to I want to read you out a field of 10 this week. Yes. And just lead us into next Saturday, next Wednesday night. 
yes. on the show and we can open with it or we, it can be one of our topics of discussion of how this can be rectified. But this will lead us in to our round table discussion and no doubt over the next two or three days we'll continue to hopefully fill that last spot in the lineup. Um, so we've, we've, we've got an ex board member and prominent owner. We've got a leading driver. Yep. Yourself and I'll sit on there as four. Yep. There'll be a, definitely a fifth. Possibly a sixth, but definitely a fifth, and we'll confirm that spot in the coming days. But Getting going, going, it. gone. Yes. Listen to this for a free for a race. Tell me who wins it. Well, I've got the answer who wins it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Emay Macker. Yep. Better have time. Yep. Culture King. Mm hmm. Queen Shenandoah. Yep. Crystal Sparkles. Mm hmm. The Dalai Express. Yep. Better Party. Yep. Claren and Hustler. Yep. And I'll fill 10th spot because we'll run last in that field, but I do well. Right. 10. Who wins? They race in that globe. Globe. Over the shore, 1800. Well, we'll better have time, does, because it's only one here. At the moment, it is. Yeah. That's the state of affairs, and that's a good discussion for topic. But that could have been a possible free for all lineup, and they're going, going, gone. Well, mate, I. Now, Emo yeah. Mac has not gone yet, it's, it, but. It does a lot more of its racing in Victoria than yeah. here. Uh, and it, uh, Greg's not going to travel to Globe Derby for 3499. And I was actually talking to Danny Hill on this exact topic yeah. today. I read these out. Well, she drove a number of those horses that uh, David and Les had yeah. a good association with and had gone to Perth and done a fantastic job. And as she said, it's you know it's insulting that they, and it's not all about state money, this going, going, gone, but how can you expect those horses to, oh, sorry, the other one we mentioned, oh, there was 10 on you, Zadaka, right, yep. Greg Norman Stable, back in his name, probably, hopefully, or soon to be seen in Victoria, still in his name, not sure exactly, but certainly gone from SA. Yes, um, now, didn't spend a lot of time here, but could well have. Those horses, and this is my, one I'm gonna lead in for next week. Yep. My scenario is not let's not race say we can race for eight thousand every meeting and five thousand every Monday, right? But let's at a minimum and Danny Hill agreed with me on this topic, have a free for all trot and a free for all pace for eight thousand dollars every week. Okay, that we encourage the better horses here. We don't there's too many conditions and that'll come up in next week's discussion, too many conditions on these races that stop horses like Anthony Robertson. Have you seen his two horses? Don't need an excuse yep. or absolution in this field this week in the nominations? Nope. No. Right, because there's no race for them currently, okay? Because of the conditions on the races. Yep. We don't encourage the better horses to come and stay and race in SA. They go, they're going, going, and they go, they're basically gone yeah. if they haven't. Another topic, right, and this is all yes. again leading in, trainers. I did a count today of five trainers, right? Ryan, Yep. this is just Tom, Ryan, ourselves, right, who both sort of worked around that 30. Yep. David and Les, Jake and Danny. 87 horse, the 87 horses I've figuratively counted between that, so say 88, down to 44. Wow. Now that's the facts, that's not negativity, that's the facts at hand. Listen, people need to listen. There are solutions to these problems, there are not issues. We've got, you know, foals. You ready for this one? So I've covered horses, I've covered trainers, foals, right? Back in 2015, Gary Fryer at River Gum Lodge foaled down 163 mares. Five years ago. He reserved 130 of those mares. Yep. In 2018, that number dropped to 92, he fold down. Yep. 75 served. 2019, the year just gone, he fold down 75 mares, that's below 50%, that's about 45%, yep. and served 60. That's the leading stud in this state. So these are the issues that need to be fixed up and can be fixed up, but not overnight. They, they need the robust discussions. And they need um, they need to include the stakeholders. Hundred percent. Yeah. Right. I'm looking forward to next week. You're right, mate. All right. At Gawler, viewers. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's show. We'll wrap it up there because next week there'll be no notes. We'll be around a little round table. However, we start to set it up, and I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into. We'll set three or four key agenda items. It'll be horses that we spoke about. That will be a topic of discussion and horse numbers, yep. the national rating system, yep. prize money, and bringing people back to this sport we love. Rocky, yep. it's been a pleasure. Thanks you, to our sponsors. We'll see you this time next week on Racing, Pacing, Chasing.